What's happening guys? Ronan here from the Alpha Zone and today we are playing Fishing Planet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over just a little technique that I use to gain some money if I'm back into the opening area. Um, it's very simple. It might take a little bit of practice but I think you'll get it. And that's the twitching technique using the first silver spoon you get in the game. This is the first spinning rod that you unlock and the first reel. And what I do is I come to this area here. And this has got to be first thing in the morning. I'm here at 5 a.m. Start a fishing day. Put your speed to 3. And just twitch like that. And there's two areas I like to fish. There's there, and then there's out into the deep water. I like to aim for, if you can see those reeds right at the back of, of the target now. I like to aim towards them. And I've had very productive fishing here, but it's fishing and it mightn't work today, but we'll see what happens. So get that tweet. Oh, here we go. We had a we had a bite straight away. Here we go. Nice. So more than likely this is a a large mouth bass. And I mean these are the biggest fish that you can get in this pond, as far as I can tell. And you get about a hundred quid or more with these fish. So as you can see, it's just really letting the rod do the action. Um, what I like to do sometimes is let go of L2, and that'll drop the rod face. And now I can use L2 to control the fish, so you can drag them back a little. And he's giving us a little bit of a show here. And bass are super fun. I've never actually caught one in real life. I am a pike and perch fisher fisherman and I also fish in Holland for Xander but I never so it's a spotted bass so he's over a pound I mean that's pretty good one uh, 23 cash and that was as you've seen there it was my first cast so let's let's see can we go again so the technique is just let it sink to the bottom speed tree start a reel and when she's up off the bottom start twitching and you got it see twitching is up there with the, oh we got another bite as well here we go the guy is in beside me tight lines buddy oh here we go surface take I don't believe it beautiful little bluegill I'm gonna actually release him because that is not what I'm after but nice take at the end I'm from Ireland and what I usually fish for is pike and a take like that off a of pike is just absolutely glorious but frightening <laughs> at the same time So there we go, there's the twitch motion. And you're just waiting for that little hit. And then the minute you feel it, raise the rod. Change it up then a little bit as well. Just do straight reels, stop, give them another few jerks. You just never know. I mean, is something going to take it here now? Let's do this. No. And just keep aiming around that area because that's where the big the big bass are. And I can't find anywhere else on this lake that have bigger fish than that. I mean I've got bass over a pound and a half in this area. So I need to put my speed to to three to get it off the bottom. And there we go. And the fun thing about this is I actually do this technique in real life and 
the motion is the exact same with the, the controller. Oh, we got a hit there. Come on, baby. Here we go. Missed him. But as you can see, the action that you get is ridiculous with this twitching technique. And it's super fun as well. Keeps you engaged. And it's a pure killer and awesome guy has a fish out in front of me. Can we do a double hookup? Be nice. Here we go. Oh, I missed him. No. So a lot of action. And I'm going to prepare now for... For the close encounters. Not exactly sure if that happens randomly or is it something I've done. And again, I'm actually I'm absolutely loving this game and I want to do more tutorials when I get on to the bigger fish, particularly pike. Here we go. Oh, another touch though. Another touch. Come on, baby. It's the thing about the... So I'll get ready for this now. It is a little bit more difficult to hook them up, but you need to be just quick on that strike. The minute you feel that vibration on the pad, just... Just sink the hook with L2. Come on, that's perfect technique. We need a fish out of this. Slow it down. Oh, there we go. Nice. Beautiful. And the fact that I slowed it down at the end, I think that's what... What could got that fish interested? And this is another nice fish. Over a pound, I'll take that. I need a one thirty eight. Another thing I would advise is don't go and start buying fancy rods and lures and all this stuff because it's gonna waste money. What I would do is invest in a new keep net. And that way you can come out in days and catch more fish. Especially if you're paying for a trip to another lake. You want to catch as many fish in that lake as possible. And if you do it right, you can end up making more money than you spend. But there is those times that you do lose it all and you need to come back here. And this is what I do. I, here we go again. I twitch for bass. It's the only way to do it on this lake. That's a personal record. And that's a trophy. So there you go. The proof is in the pudding. I mean, I hope the, the devs don't see this and, and nerf it in any way because there we go again. I mean, you know how productive it is now. This is a weird fight. It's either a very small fish or... Yeah, it's a small fish. Let's just keep going and seeing how... How much we can get out of here. And then I'll show you the the earnings at the end.
I actually had another touch there, believe it or not. So I'm going to slow it down again and see what happens. Little jerk. Oh, oh, we had a touch there. I don't believe it. That technique seems to be working here at this moment. So slowing her. Oh, here we go. We <laughs> got him right at the end. Nice. Make sure your line is long enough as well to make that cast and distance. So I'm going to try and slow it down when I bring it in. Nothing takes. Here we go, slow it down, right down now. Nothing that time. Spread it out a little bit. It's not always good to keep casting in the same spot when you're lure fishing. Give it a give it a moment to rest. Let's get it up the, off the bottom and then start to twitch. Oh yeah, guys in beside me. No, I never actually catch anything when I aim out that direction. It's always been around here. Oh, there's another silly cast. Let's keep going. I reckon it does get quiet though around half... S oh. oh, I missed that. Come on, come back to me. Might be slowing down a little bit. This will be the last cast and then I will end the video. But if you want to see more of these, I'm more than happy to record. I'll more than likely be doing some live streaming as well. But I have gone premium as well. Hey, we're in again. I have gone premium to support the developers because even though the game is not perfect and there is a couple of things that need to be changed, they are supporting the game and I would advise anyone to go onto the forum and let these guys know what you think. Good, bad, indifferent, but I personally love this game and I think it needs I think it needs just to be known that it's on the store. A lot of these free to play games they just land on the store and can pass people by. Any fisherman will love this game. It's ridiculously gorgeous. Playing a fish feels like you're playing one in real life. The only problem that I have with the game is the only bit of vibration you feel on the controller is when the fish hits. Now, that is super important, and it is the most important part of having a vibration on your controller. But I want vibration now, like the, the controller's doing nothing now. And it does break a little bit of the immersion. Um, and I think if it was there it would add to it so much so again he's nearly one and a half pound
I mean, this is probably a well-known technique in this area, but I haven't seen much tutorials on the internet for this game, so I said I may as well do them. Plus twitching is just awesome. Hardly one more before the end of the video. No. I'm going to leave that there guys. And if you want more tips and hint videos, just let me know. I, I'm going to be playing a lot of this game. I've got to grips with most of it. And yeah, if you're interested, let me know. Cheers.